Whether you're planning on purchasing a tax deed property uh, before a tax deed auction, or if you assist property owners with claiming the surplus money after the tax deed auction, you need to know if there are any liens on the property that could affect you. Um, each of our websites has an area where you can access a page on each of the counties that supplies you with the links that you need. What you're looking at is Florida Tax Auction, and this is for the pre-auction tax deed records for those who either want to contact the owners and buy ahead of time uh, before the auction, or maybe they want to participate in the auction, so you want to check out the properties first. Tax Auction Surplus is our surplus website where we supply you with daily uh, surplus records, and surplusdatabase.com is basically the same thing. We supply you with the uh, daily surplus records, but we also give you a business website and an online database to organize your records and help you uh, facilitate the process of performing your asset recovery duties. And then we also have floridaoverbids.com, which gives you all of the client forms, the claim forms um, of a surplus tax deed uh, course that you can um, go through and uh, you can ask questions on each of the counties and you get a membership to Florida Overbids for free if you join either Tax Auction Surplus or Surplus Database. Now if you are on Florida Tax Auction, which is the pre-auction uh, tax deed records, you would uh, go to My Account and click on County Pages. And this gives you a link to uh, each of the counties in Florida. And I'll just open up uh, Charlotte here to show you. And here is a link to each of the items that you would need. Plus there is uh, statistics and a lot of other information on each of the county pages. On Tax Auction Surplus, uh, you would go to My Account and then choose either the basic or the extended and pro level items depending on what membership level you are on. And then you would just scroll down to the last link, County Websites and Links. And what that does is bring you over to FloridaOverbids.com where you have a link to each of the counties. Because like I said, if you are a client on Tax Auction Surplus, you do get a free membership on Florida Overbids. And then you'll have a link to each of the counties where they have all of the links to the county pages that you need. Plus again, there is more information on each of the pages. And if you are a member on Surplus Database, you would go to My Account and then go to Florida Records. and county websites right here. And again, uh, you have to make sure you are logged into your Florida Overbids free account because each of these links go to Florida Overbids and opens up the correct county that you want. And that is how you would access the county information pages from each of our websites. Counties do change their links a lot of times, so anytime you encounter uh, one of these that is not working, you can submit this form to us and we can uh, get the correct link for you. We're going to locate and download the property information for Bay County. So I'm going to click on the Bay County li link Go to the Tax Deed Documents, search by case, and when it finds the result, I'll click it to go into it. And for Bay County, they name it the Property Information Report right here. So I'll just click on that. Choose the Download button at the top right. And again, I'm going to uh, name it as the Tax Deed number
And once I have it open, I'm going to scroll down. And right here, the mortgages would be here and all other liens would be under here. Now this is a judgment and here is the book and page number. Now I'm going to go to the official records website so that I can look up that link. And I'm going to choose book and page number, click accept, and then just type in the numbers into the book and page. And the first one that comes up should be it. You just want to double click, click uh, double check right here to make sure it is the right one. If yes, click it and it will open up the lien document. This is a judgment owed to Innovations Federal Credit Union. You want to check on the filing date uh, because if it's been 10 years, the judgment cannot take any money from the surplus. I can see it was recorded in 2019, so it's certainly within the 10 year time frame. So yes, they can take some of the surplus and you can see the amounts down in here. A total of $5,009.62, but also um, it gains interest uh, from, from the date that it shows. So it's a little bit more than what it shows uh, for the final amount.